The visual art scene in Hong Kong is flourishing, and the art market is growing in Greater China. Continuous supply of talents is essential for sustaining the developments of the arts and cultural sector. In March 2020, the Department of Visual Studies at Ningnan University has launched a new program, Master of Arts in Curating and Art History. The program is a major initiative responding to the rising demand for human resources in the cultural and creative industries and the university's strategic development in liberal arts education. This taught master's program integrates research and curatorial practice with a historical and theoretical understanding of art and curating. It offers students with specialist subjects on two major components, museum curating and art history. We have two modes of study. Students can choose to study one year full-time or two year part-time. Aside from required and elective courses, students will benefit from seminars, workshops, field trips, overseas study programs, art projects, professional training, and entrepreneurial opportunities. They can also take part in internships or a study abroad program to enhance their professional network and international exposure. For instance, Marcus students will have the opportunity to study at the Tainan National University of the Arts for a semester and enroll in summer school in Taiwan. The Marcus program is suitable for those who wish to pursue advanced studies in art history and professional careers in museums, curatorial and other arts-related industries. Art history is one of the two major components of this program, the other being curating. The reason why it's included is that you cannot hope to become a successful curator if you have only a superficial understanding of art history and don't know how to conduct art historical research, for example, if you don't know how to investigate the provenance of a work of art or how to address the issues that may arise in connection with it. Students therefore need to take provenance research and critical perspectives in art history to make sure that they have a solid grounding in art history. With that aim in mind, the program also offers electives in art history. These electives cover the connoisseurship of Chinese painting and calligraphy, East Asian art, modern Chinese art of the 20th century, Chinese contemporary art, and the relationship between art and institutions. If you haven't studied art history before, you will have to take at least one of these electives. Critical Perspectives on Art History does what the title suggests. It helps students to adopt a critical perspective on art history, it won't simply repeat the facts of art history, which students are normally already familiar with. Instead, it will ask how these facts are to be explained and interpreted. For example, why is one style followed by another style? And what is the significance of the avant-garde? So the focus of this course is not on the history of art itself, but on theories of art history that have been developed by prominent art historians and philosophers of arts in the 19th century. These theories can be used by students to explain and interpret art, in other words, to say something interesting about art, but they can also be studied in their own right as cultural phenomena, and of course, they also need to be evaluated. Museum curating is a major component of this program. Curating now is the contest field of practice, mediating the productions, circulations, consumption of art, as well as offering a reflections on the social and cultural phenomenon. I will teach the main subjects approaches to curating. It covers the history, theories and practice of curating, as well as that of exhibitions and displaced culture in general. This course aims to strengthen students' capabilities in understanding the global trends in curating and to develop their creative thinking in conceiving curatorial ideas and innovative approaches in exhibition making. Students can also learn how to interpret and communicate with art and apply this knowledge to our broader communities and public concerns. Our programs offer elective courses on art collecting, collection management, museums learning and digital technologies. For graduate work, students can choose to create an exhibition or complete a research. We also offer attractive internships in Hong Kong, Singapore, Taiwan and the mainland China. Students can have a chance to meet art historians, collectors, curators and museum professionals. I think it will really help to develop their professional skills critical for their future careers.